Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, two quick updates really, one on the channel, one on the parts washer. I'll start with the channel. Um, I've not been in the garage since June, we're now in the middle of December, uh, due to various health issues. So I apologise for the lack of any uh, workshop action. I am hoping things have changed now and we can move on, uh, hence this video. Now, the uh, parts washer I've had for about four years, I think, from memory, something like that. And I've always used it on solvent-based degreasers. And I was warned that if I did that, the pump would just melt. And I went to the parts washer a couple of days ago, a few days ago, and it wouldn't work. So I'll just show you where it is, what's gone wrong and uh, what I did about it. So it's not on the bench, so I'm in the corner, so let's go have a look. Right, there it is. It's, um, it's not a Clark's one, but it is absolutely 100% identical. They've obviously come from the same factory. I can't detect any differences whatsoever, and I've looked in Machine Mark quite closely. So, the pump is in there, I won't show you how I took it apart because it really is super simple. The box just lifts out, the metal cover pops off, and you can see the pump straight in front of you and there are two tiny screws that hold in place and you've got to unscrew that. That's it, dead easy. So I'll just show you what I found. Right, that's the pump body. Just slides in on those grooves. That's your uh, exit point. Not a lot else to tell you really has a couple of covers to stop stuff getting in. Dead simple. Now, there's the impellers. I don't know if you're able to see them very well, but there's the impellers, and they're in perfect condition. So four years worth of uh, sitting in solvents hasn't done them in at all. And what's actually wrong with it is the centre section, which is basically where the the spinning section sits, magnet on the outside, core that causes it to spin when power is applied, is now loose in the body, very loose in the body. In fact, if you uh, shook it slightly, you could get it to spin slowly. So it's just general wear and tear, which is not bad because it's been used quite heavily in the four years. So I'm not complaining about it going faulty, to be honest. It cost £38 to replace via a well-known auction site. The replacement is 100% identical. It even had the same paper sticker on the back, same numbers on the back. And the paper sticker said for aquarium use only. So because of that, I have decided just as an experiment again to not go back to the solvents uh, I've got Machine Mart's own make ready made up degreaser uh, which has developed a slight scum on the surface already despite me cleaning the uh, tray reasonably well mind you when I look at the upper surface it didn't do that well anyway either way we'll see how that works we'll see how it works as a degreaser I know that my usual cover stuff works brilliantly. It's been used on all the uh, all the bikes and stuff you've seen on the uh, on the channel. So I'll just give it a try, and I will report back once I have degreased a few more bits. So there you go. Very very quick parts washer upgrade. As far as the channel goes, I am always looking for interesting projects to do. Nothing's going to happen until the new year uh, because obviously we're getting very very close to Christmas now and I've got lots of things on. There are at least two more videos I think which are waiting to be uploaded. Non-workshop, just interesting snippet videos. Uh, an introduction to another project which isn't new, I've had it for a long time, which will be coming along quite soon. Uh, which is interesting, I think. Uh, there's a new vehicle to show you. 
I won't be picking that up until, uh, let me think, another 10 days. Uh, it's not uh, a restoration project by any means, but it might be of interest. Uh, and then hopefully in the new year we'll get something interesting bike-wise to do. This recent spate of issues with my health means I am going to get rid of the shovel head, it's too heavy. The BSA is going to be staying for a short time. Uh, the Honda will stay because it's lighter, but I think I'll be downsizing to something more in the 250, 350 size for the next project. So call back, keep calling back please. Uh, there will be more stuff, I just don't know exactly what it's going to be yet. So if I don't see you before, have a good Christmas and I'll see you next year.